I don't know what I was exposed to first. Whether I was exposed to the cartoon first, or the cards first, or the game first. When the, when the cartoon came out, I was like, hey, that looks like the game that we found. You know? It was just like all at once. It's like, I found out what Pokemon was, and then I realized it was like an entire universe. That, like, in addition to this one thing, it also had these two other things that were yeah. also awesome. So... <laughs> I don't know. I might have heard about it from you first. Maybe. I can't remember. Yeah. I just remember... I, I, I think just, when we when we met each other, I think we already knew what Pokemon was generally. Maybe. We might already have cards. I can't remember. I just remember like there being that point in my life, because I had to have been like six or five yeah. or something. Yeah. Where... It's about time like, we met each other. Yeah, yeah. Like, I didn't know what Pokemon was, and then... Like, a week later, it was all I cared about. It was, like, me bugging my parents. Like, I had to have Pokemon cards. Like, once I saw them, it was like, I have to have them. Really? I didn't really know. Like, I remember my first Pokemon card was, like, Coughing. That was, like, the first one I pulled. Like, when I opened a pack, it was Coughing. The one where he's, like, in the in that well or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. And my first holographic was Zapdos, actually. Wow. Yeah, my first pull was Zapdos. And I traded it... Unfortunately, for a cloister, because I never seen cloister before. <laughs> you? I, th I think uh, I can't confirm that this was my first Pokemon card, but I think like the first one I could vividly remember, I think was Pinsir. I can just like picture Pinsir in my head for Pinsir, some reason. I think you did have Pinsir. I there was say um... my first Hollow was probably Gyarados. Yeah, I just feel like I, remember, I just remember Gyarados being an important card to me. Yeah, and I remember you were shooting bricks, and when you saw that holographic haunter. Oh yeah, but that wasn't the original. That was like the yeah fossil, the, the I think. second one, right? Yeah, but again, like when I got into Pokemon, I think fossil was already out and all that. Like when I actually got, bought a Pokemon card, I never really, mm -hmm. I didn't buy the cards for the longest. Yeah, when we were, when we were kids, I I, 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 well, I still don't know. I still don't know anything about the game. I like, barely know it. No, the game's easy. I play it, like, now I play it a lot. Yeah, like, the only time I ever kind of understood the training Should, should we catch game, a Zubat? Golbat's pretty thick, man. You can fly on him. I, can I learn fly? Yeah. This game? Uh, go ahead. We know Charizard can't fucking do it. I mean, <laughs> didn't have the common sense to do that yet. I wonder if can Charizard run Seismic Toss in this game? He can, actually. Okay. I remember Pretty there was like sure some shit can. that they changed. I know we can learn Dig. Dig. Oh shit. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if, uh, Snorlax could use Surf in this game. Maybe. Only, oh, well, I don't know. Only because it feels like Snorlax could learn everything. It's always felt that way, but I don't know if it's still true. Or if it's true all the way back during this time. What I was going to say is, uh, when I was a kid, I it, it wasn't until I was like older, at least until like, I don't know, I was like 13 or so, okay. that I understood like where Pokemon came from. And I, I didn't know that the game came first. I didn't know what was based on what. Yeah. So like, it wasn't until like I, I began to get older and smarter that I realized that the show was based on the game, and that the the characters in the game aren't the characters in the show. Yeah. It's Actually, a, before even a Pokemon pack of cards that I got, the first one of the first Pokemon things I got was the um, the manga. Oh yeah. Yeah, and it, I don't know. It was I think it was in Japanese, and um, I remember being super confused. Like the kid was not Ash; it was Red. Mm -hmm. There was a girl in there. You know, that oh. wasn't Misty. Oh yeah, that's it right. Was green, I think her name was. One of the things that really confuses me about my Pokemon history is, uh, I obviously already loved Pokemon big time, but there's no, there's no way in hell that I played this game, these generations of games, when they were new. Yeah, of course not. There's yeah, well even like. Because well, this came out like what, 95 or 96 or mm -hmm. something. It, it had to have been like 2000 by the time I played this. No way. Yes. No way. Yes, You're wait. lying, I, dude. No, You're I, lying. I know for sure. And here's how I know. You are lying, dude. Here's how I know. 
because I didn't have a Game Boy at all until I had a Game Boy Color. And when I got my Game Boy Color, I got Pokemon Gold. So Gold was technically my first game, and then I technically went back and played these, I think. That's the only way it makes sense. Fucking shit, dude. Yeah, game, then my, my Game Boy Color was my first Game Boy, and I got my Game Boy Color with Pokemon Gold for Christmas. So I, even though like I was familiar with Pokemon Red and Blue and so Yellow. I think you played it at my house, right? Yeah, I didn't oh, own them personally. Gotcha, man. I also didn't, like, at, at that age, I couldn't distinguish the fact that, uh, because I had never, I had, like, never played on a Game Boy when I was a kid. Like, the, the original <laughs> big-ass gray brick Mario Yeah, we Game had Boy. those. We had, like, two of them. So I didn't know until, like, later that this game was actually a Game Boy game and not a Game Boy Color game. It was yeah. just color compatible, and it had like it has these palettes in it and whatnot, to where it can like kind of look like a Game Boy Color game. Gotcha. It wasn't until later that I realized like how much older these really were compared to Gold and Silver. Again, like another thing is like I wanted to the game when was... Gregory found it, but he wouldn't give it to me. <laughs> how did that fucking Beedrill still not know anything else besides poison? I know, dude. It's bothering me, dude. I was like, where? Like, well, whatever, dude. Like, tackle or something? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I really want to dig it really bad. Watch out for the Give twin needle attack. Name. Oh, oh, shit. You found a Clefairy. Nah, I thought it was Trainer. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I did see one, though. I oh, don't... yeah. This is really rare. Burned the fuck out of it. Wait, that was the first Pokemon I came, I came by. Really? Yeah, yeah it's like the yeah. rarest Pokemon in Mount Hood. Fuck! I don't, I don't... I'm not gonna catch it though. Yeah. It's homo. Psst, Clefairy. Fuck yeah. It came from the fucking outer space, dude. That that's what I was gonna talk about with the Pokemon anime is. Oh, I learned okay. Fury Attack by the way. No, Be nice. Okay, so last year I uh, I rewatched Digimon for the first time since I was a little kid. Fuck you. Uh, you know, I I, I liked shit. it. I I, I know. I remember. I liked it as an adult. I liked it last year. I was like, I was impressed. I was impressed. And because how, the characters die. Like, yeah, I was impressed so at like I how did. well the writing was. I, I was like, I can't believe they tackled these kinds of issues in Digimon. I don't know. I was but, impressed. But anyway, there was like when I was watching it, there I was picking up on like subtleties that I was too stupid to pick up on as a kid. Like Satan's obviously in there. Well, yeah, like 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 production things, like things where you could tell where they Americanized it, quote unquote. To okay. where it's like, there's no way they said that in the original. Like in Japan, they just like added filler bullshit in English to like fill in whatever it is that they said in Japanese. Okay. Like they couldn't say it in America or whatever. Like oh, there was like a lot of like weird jokes that kind of like fit in randomly where like there shouldn't be a joke. Or like one of the characters will like make a joke about wanting to eat chili dogs or some shit. Some like really dumb American cartoon bullshit. Okay. But like it doesn't fit the scene. So, like, now, as an adult, I, I'm, like, realizing, like, that's a weird dub thing that they did. Like, in the dub... A lot of the uh, cartoons, they were dubbed. Yeah, th like, it's because it was dubbed that they added, like, some weird filler dialogue that doesn't belong in there. So, now that I'm watching Pokemon again, I'm wondering, like, did they do that in Pokemon, yeah. too? Yeah, um, I was, uh, watching... I forgot whose channel it was. It might have been... Oh, I don't know, one of those Pokemon dudes. Yeah, because in uh, the episode I just saw last night, the one in Mount Moon, where, uh, if you remember, they like ran, they run into this scientist named Seymour. Yeah. And Team Rocket tries to like, steal the Moonstone or whatever. Okay. It's just, like, the dialogue in that episode is really weird. Especially where, like, Seymour, he's supposed to be, like, a scientist, but he's, like, full of shit. Or he's the one who's like, I think the Clefairy came from the moon in the Moonstone's a spaceship. And one day I'm gonna fly with the Clefairy in the space. <laughs> the fuck? It's really weird. He's on acid. And I'm like, oh, is this what it was in Japan, or did we just like dub it into some? Actually, weird it might have been on that one. It was really bizarre. Do you, do you remember the episode with um the Kangaskhan kid? No. You don't remember that episode. Mm -mm. I, maybe if you they're in the it. safari zone and they find first of all the parents. It, is it, it shows the, the parents like. Is it the one where they cut out in America? Or? No, no, it was, it was aired here. And it's about some little kid they find in the safari zone or some shit. Mm -hmm. And he was raised by King of Kong. 
And in the episode, they keep zooming up on Misty's titties. What? And, but, like, in the American version, he keeps saying, I'm a Pokemon. But in the Japanese version, he actually is saying, could I suck on your boobs to Misty? <laughs> really? She, every time he says that, she keeps hitting him in the head. So I was like, oh, okay, now it makes sense. Because we always wondered, that, like, why did it, like, kind of go up on her boobs a little bit? And then Misty will get, like, really, like, freaked out. So that was pretty fucked up. <laughs> Oh, I'm seeing like the Google image of it now, and the kid is looks very familiar. Yeah, he looked like it's on their way to to a safari zone. It, actually, that reminded me, the safari zone episode is the one that got cut, right? I uh, yeah, that's we the one where the Ash gun. gets the yeah, it has the gun in it, and he got cut because that, and that's where Ash catches like fifty fucking Tauros or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that bothered me so much. Because you I was never a kid. knew where you got him from. Yes, I, <laughs> I thought I was insane when I was a kid. I, I was like, where the fuck did it, did I miss an episode? It bothered me so much because I, I had like that streak. Of, like I'd seen every Pokemon. And then Ash had po like a Pokemon that I Tauros. don't remember him catching, and it bothered me so much. Oh, them fucking uh, what's their name? Is it Four Kids Entertainment? I think, yeah, yeah, cutting episodes, dick bags. Mm -hmm.